Oh boy, sorry for the long delay on that one. Oops. Uh, I've changed some streaming settings. Sorry, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I changed some streaming settings. Uh, you know, if you saw last night's stream, or even probably last week's, this game started chugging a lot. The stream in general has been doing that a lot since Pokemon. Like, it happened towards the end of Pokemon, then it was happening during Mario RPG, now it's- it was happening more and more during Chrono Trigger, and last night it was pretty bad to the point where the entire stream was like, chuggy and not good. Uh, what I did was, tonight, I closed everything but what I'm running, so... the chat, streaming, and the game. Uh, and I also lowered some of my settings. The resolution of the stream is lower, and the bitrate... is also... lower, too. Almost cut in half, actually, but... still within good streaming range, so... let me know if this looks alright. If it doesn't... I'll see if I can bump it up a little bit. But hopefully... This, this puts it within, like, an acceptable range where it's not going to be giving me shit. Um... Fuck. So last time... Uh, what did we do last time? We got a bunch of treasures, we went to the future, we got the Epoch, we came back to the past, climbed a floating mountain that somehow... people thought was a good idea to big float, because, sure, if that thing crashes, who's gonna hurt? Uh, then it crashed and hurt a bunch of people. Presumably all monsters, but whatever. And then we came back here, and now we're in the Ocean Palace. You saw the slowdown? Were you here yesterday? So, oh, everyone's ready to go. Um, yeah, these enemies, if you were here last night, they only can be hurt significantly by magic that matches their color. These scouters will counter anything, any magic that's not their color. So you have to hit yellow ones with lightning. Are uh, you caught up? Okay. Good, because this is the best part. Well... Not necessarily the best part, but it's certainly the shit's going down part. But yeah, today is going to be another sort of short stream. Not really short, short, but it's... Wait, what? You can just walk over the... Is this... What? Oh, god damn it! And it's slowing down. So that didn't help. Nothing I did helped. That's weird. I didn't know you could just walk on that. The unfortunate thing about Ayla, no multi-attacks. You need, you need to uh, combo with her to do multi-attacks. God. I was hoping they'd be powerful enough to take him out in two hits, but I guess not. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, wow, that's really fucking upsetting. I, I've conceded as much as I possibly can to get this stream to run, and, and it's just not working. I don't know what's causing it. Power up. We got powered up. I mean, I, I don't want it to get to the point where I can't stream anymore. That's my biggest concern. And I don't know if, if and when I'm getting that new, that replacement computer, because my friend just hasn't saved up for it. And I also don't want to rush him, because he's giving me his old one for free. And when I say, uh, when I say his old one, his old one is leagues better than anything I ever had. Like, he still has, like, a high-end, top-of-the-line computer. another process hogging stuff. That's what I thought too, but I didn't... Um... I didn't see anything. Whoa. Locking. I mean, the biggest processes are OBS, the SNES 9X, and Edge, which I need to have running to stream. I thought that maybe lowering... The quality settings would help a bit, but apparently not. This this is probably just worth wailing on them. Wait, what? Oh no. Not like that. Maybe it's just this game, because I've noticed that well no, probably not. I was gonna say, because that seemed to happen when that effect kicked in. Didn't happen there, though. Ow, my arm! Frog and Ayla are both down. We're not in a good position here. computer might need a complete reset. Maybe that maybe that is what's wrong. Maybe it's because I haven't restarted the computer in so long. That's just fuck causing problems. Memory leak maybe. I really hope it's something like that, because if it's not, then I'm completely out of ideas. Please not go after Chrono, that would be nice.
No, no, factory reset we're not doing. If it's that bad, then... It can't, it can't be that bad. It, it's... I don't know. I would really like my friend to just give me his old computer already, but I can't be impatient. Because, uh, he's giving it to me for free, so... That battle was way tougher than it needed to be. Also, I'm still in shock that you can walk on this part. more These monsters are definitely the worst enemies in the Ocean Palace. to take it easy and use single target spells. Otherwise, I'm just dragging the fight out longer than I need to. Like, I'm not doing anything differently, honestly. I'm running the stream at the same rate I always have. If not lower now. Frog learns Cure 2. Stall allies HP full. Oh, neat. So he gets a full heal. Which is good, because his cures are definitely weaker overall. Lower HP equals greater damage. Frog squash. Actually, now I should take a look. Who else doesn't have their second to last? Luca and Robo. So we'll do Robo. F Wait, who, who needs more? Robo needs 400. 200. We'll do Robo first. good, because he's got the other cure-all. <laughs> Man, 
Maybe it needs a cleaning? I don't know. I mean, this is a pretty dusty room, so... Hmm... I'll give those both a shot before the next, um... The next stream. I'll clean it up and, uh... I'll clean it up and, uh... Res and restart it. Is this the end? No, we gotta fight a boss here. You've made it this far. Maybe I underestimated you. But this is the end. They will take care of you. Or they will take care of you. Come, Golem Twins! Alright, this boss... Give me fun. Iron Orb. Alright, so we gotta worry about that. Okay. Ridiculous. Okay. So Chrono and Robo, or Chrono and Ayla are already down. That's good. Assholes hit like a fucking truck. That's it, we're dead. That was my first game over since the beginning of the game, when I didn't pay attention to my HP and got killed before I saved once. Okay, so Robo's already down. That's ridiculous, I didn't even get a chance to attack before they do that. I mean... Okay. There's no defend option in this game, right? Okay, so now the question is... Who to bring along for this fight? Maybe Marl? Mm.
Well, that does that much damage on its own, so... But this is becoming unplayable with how this game is, like, acting now. Very upsetting. Well, this seems to be doing less damage, so it's probably better to just keep up the Luminaire. I was gonna say, is it doing the fire attack? That fire attack is what screwed us up, mostly. This lightning attack's better, it's only doing about 100 damage per hit. God, I gave Chrono the uh, 70 f the gold stud. Copying Dalton. Why does Dalton burp? Also, cool, Robo didn't get any experience now because of that shit. They beat the Golem twins! Alright, this calls for the Golem boss! Strange force! Could this be Lavos's energy? <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal! This is your lucky day. Bye bye. We wanted Robo in the oh, we wanted Ayla. Ayla needs her her skills.
This is the hall of the Mammon Machine. Now is the time to turn back, Nu. So he just jumps into the abyss. Into where they create all the energy for the inhabitants of the underwater. A gravitational pull. I sense a dimensional warp. Hela, come. We're a strong beast. You're... Too late. Help! Shala! What are you doing, Shala? I need your help here. Use the knife from Melchior to stop the Mammon machine. Chrono, use red knife. Here we go, Mune. Ready, big brother. The knife used the machine's power to become a sword? Yep. The knife was actually the Masamune the whole time. The, the Mammon machine! It's coming. No, stop. That sword alone can't stop it. Now she tells us. So the Lavos did not emerge there, he just kind of materialized. Destruction rains from the heavens. It is possible to win this fight, but only on New Game Plus. I've waited for this. I've been waiting for you, Lavos. I swore long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter what the price. It's time to fulfill that vow. Vow? Great. It's time to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos! Ernest invited you to join Doc. What the fuck is that? What is Doc? What do you think you can do? Oh wait, no, that's probably Queen Zeal, yep. What do you think you can do? Hmph. <laughs> a false prophet. You'll be a snack for the great Lavos. Big Worm is summoned. Mother, please stop. This power can only end in ruin. Get away from there, Shala. The almighty life force of Lavos lives in all of us. You are a part of it. You cannot change fate now. Oppose me, and I will destroy you also. Help! Come, Prophet. Feel the power of Lavos. Uh. uh my powers are being drained. Uh, I won't be... Beaten. I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this, Lavos. Ah! Eh. You ever you hear if, if you played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, there's like this one scream Rex does, where you're like, eh. and it's like his voice actor is really good, but that one. Scream. He's just so weird and out of place. Could they just punch her or something? You know, I don't think hitting uh, Zeal would do anything. But what? It doesn't work? Ugh! Foolish one. Your measly power can't touch Lavos. This is from me to you. You shall enjoy and enjoy, enjoy eternal life as part of Lavos. <laughs> Step 
Stand up, Chrono. Ayla no like lose. The dimensional warp is getting bigger. We cannot stay. Shala, are you all right? Uh, Ayla no lose. Start fight now. If we are caught in that energy field, our molecular structure. Stru if we're caught in that energy field, our molecular structure will be disrupted. P please escape, Chrono. Oh, Humans can't hope to defeat it. So, you are Chrono. Why don't you do as Shala says and run away, yelping in terror? Isn't your life precious to you? <laughs> If I wait, do they get sucked into it? No, it looks like they just kind of get stopped. So if I just stand here, nothing bad happens ever. Haven't you given up yet? What do you hope to do? Oh, you mean punch her in the face when this started? Yeah, but everyone thinks it's a good idea. That's the problem. Shala and the Gurus were the only one that were opposed to it, and you saw what Queen Zeal did to the Gurus, so... You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours? <laughs> See the power of Lavos and feel his wrath. I was meant to go deeper, but I kind of breathed it up at the end there. Chrono. Chrono. Chrono? Chrono. Again, this is a scene I feel is much more impactful in the later ports of it. In um, the PS1 version and on, there's animated cutscenes at some points. Done by Bird Studio, which, you know, it's Akira Toriyama, Dragon Ball Z. So it's actually, like, animated in, like, a very Dragon Ball-style, like, cutscene. And there's one for that scene that's pretty, uh... I feel it's pretty more... pretty impactful. I feel it adds a lot more to the scene than what you see in the game. I... can't... beat him. Lavos. The palace is collapsing. We must escape now. This bottom of ocean, what can do? Last of my pendant's power will send you to safety. I know you can't forgive her, but please don't hate Mother or our kingdom. I'm so sorry. Now, off you go. Chrono. Triangles are destroying the world. It's kind of fucked up when you think about it. Lavo succeeds twice. He destroys the world now and then he destroys it again. 
uh, 13,000 years from now. Tidal wave. So you go outside. You go outside to look at it instead of getting to shelter. It's fucked up. It's too dangerous, Chrono. 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 No. Chrono. Chrono. Um, you're awake. The uh, with the apostrophe after the R and before the E. You were delirious. Chrono. Where Chrono? We found no one else. No, that's not true. Chrono strong. Chrono not gone. Is this the earthbound village? This island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace disaster. Metal bird, place that float in sky, all gone? Is Sir Melchior here? When the, distra the, the, when the disaster struck, an eerie black portal materialized. Melchior tried to save Janus, but he was also dragged in. Ah, uh, black portal. No doubt a gate made by Lavos. Where's Shala? What happened? It's weird having Ayla and Robo here, like the two characters most distant from the plot. Especially Ayla. I don't know. No one has seen her since. Epoch, is it intact? Your ship is quite sturdy and safe. It's almost as if it followed you here. Oh, this must be yours. Look, pendant that Chrono had. It was at your side, like a guardian. Chrono, take all the time you need to rest. I will be in the commons. So yeah, Chrono, Chrono, he's dead. Pour one out for Chrono. Uh, so... What can I do now? What, what team do I want to go with now? I guess Luca, since she and Robo need to, uh... Get their shit together. Like, I, I can't remember how I felt about this when I played it. But... I imagine when people experience this for the first time on the SNES, this was, like, mind-blowing. Like, the main character dies, and now all of a sudden, you have no main character. You just have all the secondary characters. And it's like, well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? You stay. Nah, we're good. A few enlightened ones survive, but no distinctions remain between the enlightened and the earthbound anymore. Moonstone left in a sunlit spot for a millennia becomes a sunstone. The Sunkeep of Zeal had such a stone. Very old stones are required to harvest useful amounts of power. You know the entire world ends, and that's your spiel. She just she just delivers the the, the talk of the uh of the sunstones or whatever. back with them. His wares vary from time to time.
Bye. Boy. We better buy more revives. <laughs> Ooh, he sells full tonics. All right, Chrono's, uh, equipment. Again. Chrono's equipment's kind of not here anymore. Too early to use this area. How will I survive in this land without my magic? You don't need magic to survive. Besides, you're not alone. You're absolutely right. We're alive and there's always hope. Gotta seize the day. We grew too dependent on a dangerous force. You think and everyone sank to the bottom. The sea of clouds has parted and the blizzard has finally abated. Could the long winter finally be over? So it's implied that Lavos started the Ice Age by crashing into Earth, and then subsequently ended it by blowing up, uh, Zeo, apparently. Must have cried himself to sleep. Let him be. All rested up. Bow and pay homage to our new liege, King Dalton. These assholes. You there, what's wrong? You're lucky to be alive. The old crone and the pesky gurus are gone. I now rename Zeal the Kingdom of Dalton. <laughs> you, you're alive? How ah, that vehicle outside must be yours. It's just like the one Belthazar was building. I've decided you don't deserve such a splendid toy. Henceforth, it shall be my personal chariot. You've got to be joking. You'll have to come with me. You might start a rebellion or something. And now, as a token of my esteem for you... Take this! Bitch, you're using fire against Luca? Luca was made of fire. What? Ugh. How's this? <laughs> Enjoy a little taste of my true power. Wait, what? Why did we turn around? I'm pretty sure in the DS version they specifically make him be like, Hey, look over there. And we all turn around, but that was kind of weird. That was definitely not translated well. Uh. Oh, this part. 
This part's fun. Unfamiliar scenery. Weapons, all gone. Items are missing, too. Even the money... Must think of a way to escape. Hala, fight. Get all weapons back. Destroy bad man. I believe Ayla is... Oh, you can't actually switch. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure Ayla's required for this part. Can't do that! I just realized this can't do that in the corner. Says I'm right. No weapons are powerless. <laughs> what? This must be... The Blackbird? Please wait. Okay, I'll just moonwalk here for a minute. It seems like an air duct. What we do, Luca? Act sick? Think of a plan. Act sick. Ayla healthy. Luca wants sick, then sick. Ooh, Ayla hurt bad. What's wrong? Womp. Hela don't like lie. Yeah, I can't remember if Ayla automatically comes with you here or not. I think if you don't, you just can't, uh, fight. Hey, you! Don't worry, we'll, we'll get- we'll- Dalton will get what's coming to him soon. Actually, this is perfect for Ayla. She can catch up in terms of, a uh, skill. Robo's equipment back. So does he automatically have him equipped? Yeah, he does. And, and oh, th th there's just literally no slot for them if they don't have their equipment. No items, no money. Also, it's implied that the other two party members are just not here. My question is, why can't Luca just use her magic, then? Learn Dual Tech Boogie. Learn Dual Tech Beast Toss. Interesting. Hey, you! Got your money back. Hey, you! Well, that's a lot of enemies. And Luca just walks up the wall. That's the one thing I find so hilarious about this game. It's just, like, the positioning is important, and the environments are important, but your characters will just walk up walls.
I just had a brainstorm as to why the stuttering might be occurring. Hold on one sec. No, nope, never mind. I was gonna say maybe it ha maybe I have an update to install on Windows because that's happened before where the installing Windows bullshit slows down my stream. Ayla got her equipment back. All right, now she can do m more punches. Secret updates. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, Windows 10 is pretty shitty with that. Oh, go fuck yourself. I ain't got time to deal with your bullshit. Should be Ayla's equipment. Nope, it's the items. And also, Ayla has her equipment. I meant to say, uh, Luca. Ayla's just gonna go to the wall for a second there and, and kill that guy. No big deal. I think one of these rooms is, like, sealed. You have to drop down into it. Ooh. Noice! Say, why are my items all screwy? And I just realized it's because uh, people not in my party are like 
have their items de-equipped or whatever. Or just Luca does, I'm not sure. There we are. back, got our money back. I think we're ready to, uh, get the ever-loving fuck out of here. Items, all right. This is a good place to farm for a bit. Because they drop a... Uh, they drop a hundred tech points. I think what I'm going to do is the second I end the stream, I'm going to restart it. I'm going to restart my uh, computer, see if that works. And it just fucked off on its own. Because of the friggin' misrate. Self-destructed, so we get nothing. I don't think I was supposed to fight both of these at once.
fire in the wrong direction. Cool. Massive energy magic reaction, other way around. It's a massive magic energy reaction. It's another golem. He's the golem boss. He may be the toughest enemy we've faced up to date. Chew on this. Five. Four. Three. One. He already said two at some point, I guess. Um. Five. It's okay, we'll give him another chance at this. Four. Three. I'm so scared. I hate heights. Couldn't attack at all. Phew. <laughs> it's complete. I've done it. See these beautiful wings? Now this is a king's throne. I now name it the Aero Dalton Imperial. And they're gonna be my first victims! Hero Dalton Imperial, engage! No, 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 wait, wait. Stop the music. Ha! There we go! Ready for takeoff! Hero Dalton Imperial! We have liftoff, Houston! Who's Houston? Th that's... He 
puck fly? It's flying. It's not Epoch, it's the Arrow Dalton Imperial. <laughs> you are excess baggage. Make like the wind and blow out of here. <laughs> you are like insects to me. We must retrieve Epoch. Dalton! She just fearlessly jumps up there. You! You! Dalton plus. Take this! He's, not, he's countering again. That music isn't as cool. No, it isn't. But then again, what about Dalton is, is cool at all, anyway? Opposite magic attack. Oh, he does the opposite element. Interesting. I don't think I ever had that happen to me. Go! Go, Lumboss! And he's gone. Where does he go? Nobody knows. Actually, no. You do find out in the DS version where exactly he ends up. Is Epoch okay? Success. Epoch okay? More importantly, did he change the controls? These instruments are unfamiliar. Why is Aloe just, like, standing on the seat? Both of them are. Uh... What's going on? Oh! I had to hit the fucking warp button. I'm an idiot. Yeah, fuck you, Blackbird! Then try the X button. I was gonna say, I didn't softlock the game somehow, did I? Yeah, justice! Dalton got what he deserved. Oh, that ship can fly! Phew, now I get it. Epoch in good shape. Epoch, become bird! We were lucky if we had pressed the wrong control devices. It needed a remodel anyway. might be on this island. Yeah, I know. I thought it's soft-locked. Hard lock would mean that the uh, game glitched and, like, hit a crash screen or something. Soft lock means that the game... Just stops moving and you can't do anything. Or you're getting a situation where you can't beat the game. 
possible to softlock in a Pokemon Red and Blue against uh, Lorelei. There's like a way to set it up so that you can never lose and never beat her. and he was gone now. Got more goods. All stuff that was in the Ocean Palace. And a strange new weapon. A scythe. Interesting. I wonder why there's sides here. I wonder what that could mean. Mysterious sapling. Maybe someday it will help change our environment. Gotta seize the day. Gee, seeing you has really made my day. I love frogs. I saw a suspicious looking person up north on the Cape. A moonstone left in the sa yeah, well we know about it. We've talked about that already. Hooray, hooray! A stranger trying to locate someone passed by after you left. No one had ever seen the person who came looking for you. Could he be a friend of yours? Glad to see you're all recovered. We're slowly recovering. We've got to start from scratch. So, it's you. Magus! Behold, everything's at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of Zeal, and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I once lived there, but I was another person then. Hmm? Dimensional warp. This power is beyond human control. No, we'll be dragged into the warp. Shala. No, Janice, stay away. But, but. It, it's a. Time gate. No. Sha Shala. Janice. So that happened. Right before Chrono showed up? This... this is... Hey. Nothing here. This must be... The end of time. So, thou art... Thou art that filthy urchin! Ever since Lavos's time portal stranded me in the Middle Ages, I have waited to even the score. You interrupted me just when I had summoned Lavos to my castle. How ironic that, having been drawn into yet another portal, I would end up upon this age. 
Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the Queen that I was a mighty oracle. But no history book could have prepared me for what happened here. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Anyone who dares to oppose it meets certain doom. At this rate, you too will meet a hideous fate, just like that poor fool, Chrono. You dare to insult him? He's history. Play with fire and you get burned. Magus, hold thy tongue. You wish to fight me? Uh, do I want to fight him? Or do I not want to fight him? Tell you what. We'll fight him, and then I'll just reload it. Stand back! I never imagined that we'd settle our score in this dusty old era. Come, let us finish this charade. Charade? Charade? This fight's fairly straightforward. It's really more of an event battle than anything. It is possible to lose it, but... You probably aren't going to. Especially since he's only hitting you with, like, a single... ...relatively weak attack. Oh, and then he does that. Fun fact, to fill out the bestiary in the, uh, PS1 and, uh, DS versions of this game, you have to fight him here. So, you have to do it on a separate playthrough if you want him to stay alive. That's just gonna heal me, dude. Or not, I may have taken that armor off. Never mind. Okay move. Could've been better, though.
Cyrus, I hath avenged thee! Defeat me, and you will break the curse on Frog. If you want to bring Chrono back, find Gaspar, the, the guru of time. You got the amulet. Doesn't that make you feel like shit, though? Frog may be happy, but obviously, you know, the mood, the mood is dampened. Anyway, the answer is no. We don't want to fight him. Vanquishing, vanquishing, vanquish the, 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 his long tongue got caught in his mouth. Vanquishing thee will neither return Chrono nor Cyrus. Wait. I'll come with you. Treachery. You know, there just might be a way to bring him back. Nonsense! Gaspar, the guru of time, knows how to restore lost or misplaced time streams. Thy name will be Magus. Hell yeah, baby! Dark Sight's Doom Helm amulet. So, what does the amulet do? Protects status. Oh, so it makes you not be able to take any uh, status ailments. Shadow. Level 37, so he's actually higher level than some of our party. Not Ayla, or Luca though. Luca still needs a, a level here. Lightning, Ice, Fire 2, Dark Bomb. So a neat little touch here is that um, Janice's cat will follow Magus around while you're here. And I believe this boy will comment on it too. Hey mister, is this your cat? Getting some interference from an enormous gate. It can't be. Lavos? That's. He looks so sad in his portrait. Yeah, he kind of does. He's very aloof. He's seen a lot of shit. He also lived. He also grew up around Ozzy, so. We expect. It feels like we're gonna get stuck, or it feels like we're gonna get sucked in there. The ocean palace hath risen, surely it doth beckon us. Palace. 
This is impossible. So here's another sun keep. So yeah, with the Epoch now able to fly, you're pretty much able to go wherever the hell you want in any of the time periods. And it's pretty rad. Also, this time portal's finally unlocked. Again. You're so sad about the cat. Well, I mean... Yeah, I guess it is right to be sad about the cat. The cat never actually comes back to, uh... Magus in the end. Hey, where's that healthy kid with the radical haircut? This is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Chrono. Yeah, that's my reaction. I wish I could lend a hand. Only the Guru of Time can help us now. Hey, where have you been? So that's your story, and just look at you now. You've become quite formidable. Heh. <laughs> the Guru of Time, eh? Heard of him, of course, but what do you want with him? We've heard there might be one... We've heard he might be the one to bring our Chrono back. To bring back lost loved ones, it's what everyone wants. Chrono must be proud to have friends like you. His Radical Dreamer's haircut. Hey! The punk rocker hasn't been coming around lately. Phew! You hauled in a marlin here, kids. He can use shadow, and he could probably teach me a thing or two. Hey. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Here, take this with you. What be this? Me thinks an egg? Let us call that the Chrono Trigger. It is pure potential. By unleashing a specific course of events, it can have a powerful effect on time. Ask the one who made the epoch, your wings of time, how to hatch it. Like any egg, it, re it represents a possibility. It may or may not hatch. But the Chrono Trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. The egg will have an effect equal to the effort you put into your search. No more, and no less. Don't forget that. As long as you keep Chrono in your heart, the day you are dreaming of shall arrive. I get it. It's you, isn't it? It's you, isn't it? You're Gaspar, the Guru of Time. Um, well, I believe that's what they used to call me. Ages ago. Got one C-Trigger. Hell yeah. Chrono. Let's go get Chrono. Without Chrono, everyone is depressed. Chrono strong. Not gone yet. Ayla find Chrono. I forgot that all of them kind of have their own little, uh... He was a pain, but now that he's gone... I don't get any good stu- no, Don't go getting any stupid ideas. He was like a brother to me. That fool. No one that young is supposed to leave this mortal coil. Does 
doesn't matter if he's here or not. My attention is focused elsewhere. Going my way? Now we've got a winning team. I like how it plays each person's theme whenever you have them in your team. Oh, I should probably have Ayla instead of Frog, honestly. Just because she needs to learn two still. Wait, does the Epoch not actually follow you in time? I thought it did. That's weird. Well, he does have a cool haircut. Yeah, that's true. So I have to go see, um, what's his name? In the far future, but the Black Omen's already here. Know this, the mighty Lavos reigns here. Relax, poor creatures. Lavos has already consumed this world's life energy. So this is like a one-off battle you can do here. It's too it's too far in the future, so the Black Omen's already served its purpose and just floats here. good quick experience. You only get to do that fight once, though. It's shut tight. Wait, what? Oh. That's what that computer does. Let you rename the Epoch. God, I really hope restarting this computer fixes the issues. <laughs> On Death Peak, you will find order. Or your. Ugh, order. Why did I say order? Where did the fuck did that word come from? On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. And you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic. Need a clone? The magician Nolstein Beckler could whip one up in the wink of an eye. Beckler loves festivals. Find a festival, and there too you shall find Beckler. That's sort of a, a clue of what you're supposed to do.
By unleashing a specific... Yeah, 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 I already know. This part of the game is still rather linear-ish. But it's interesting because once you finish this part, the game gets very open-ended because all, all the end game quests open up at once. Time for action, Epoch! One huge omen. So we can go down here now. Oh, I can't land. There we go. My husband's never around. Next I'm gonna next time I'm gonna show him who's boss. Next time, pow, right in the kisser. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a carpenter, just like daddy. Dang. Koras. I forgot that this is an actual town in this game. 10G a night, will you stay? Fuck no. Hey, bring some more soda. Yeah, soda. That's totally what it is. Sir, I think you've had enough sugar for today. Pipe down, I'll tell you when I've had enough. Can't you see I love soda pop? Right about the ghost? A ghost knight roams in the northern ruins. Isn't that a trip? Oh, then beat it. All the youngins went to the millennial fair. Kids are just gluttons for fun. Those fucking millennial fairs. Come on in. This, this predicted Millennials right here, because it's the Millennial Fail, Fair, Fail, good, good for me. It's the Millennial Fair, and they're talking about young people going to it. This game predicted the, the mid-2010s. Uh, the adventurer Toma's grave is on the Western Cape. He only failed to find the rainbow shell. Not a single sale, and I came all the way from poor. You, will you please buy something? Uh, you ain't got nothing I want, but sure, I'll buy a tonic. There you go. I'd stay away from the ruins. The structural damage is severe. Ghosts lurk in the ruins. There's an old structure to the north. It's been in ruins for ages. They see some brain-dead ghosts hang out in the ruins to the north. It's scary. Spirits still attached to the real world live in places like that. The anguish of tormented spirits has created a negative energy that surrounds the ruins. Ruins. Black omen sparkles in the sun. Tomorrow should be clear too. Fun fact, I think if you look up the phrase Good Morning Chrono on Google, and look at the images, one of the first row of images is an image, is a picture drawn by my friend of, uh, Chrono's mom waking Chrono up and commenting on how the Black Omen looks. God, this slowdown is killing me. The great adventurer Toma Levine rests here. 36634. So he dies 34 years after, uh, after, uh, the Middle Ages. Nope. So this is a place we'll be going to later. Not now, though. Definitely not now.
And up here we have this era's uh, sun keep. But what is this sun keep used for, you may ask? Well, we will find that out later. Man, it must suck for Melchior now to, to live under this friggin' Black Omen every day. The Black Omen which floats in the sky, made neither by the mystics nor humans. What does it portend? You know, that thing's been here for 12,000 years, or 13,000 years. You would think you'd, like, not build your house right under it. Oh, hello. Is Chrono okay? Zero ounces of cat food. I forgot about that. I don't think I've ever done the cat food stuff in this game. It's like the one thing I never do. Is there anything else I want to, like try to accomplish now before I continue the story. Because to be honest, I'm going to stop in like less than a half hour, so... I'm trying to like see if there's any small stuff I could get done now. I don't think so, though. So, come on in. Buy our absolute nothing that we sell. The black omen sparkles in the sun. Tomorrow should be clear, too. I like how that guy mirrors his counterpart in 1000 AD. There's something eerie about the northern ruins. Tenji and Night. Nope. I believe the northern ruins also have, uh, black boxes in them. I wish Toma would stay put for a change. My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. Hey, Luca. I finally got a lead on the rainbow shell. But there's something odd going on. Can you hang on to this for me? Got one Toma's pop. If I don't return, come to my grave and pour this on my headstone. <laughs> Gee, isn't this morbid? Come on in. Ten years ago, a beast was seen carrying something to the northern ruins. Treasure, perhaps? We're only trainees. The boss is at his favorite cafe. They're quadruplet uh, trainees. I hate this. So here's another place we haven't explored yet. There's another little tower over here, enshrouded in darkness. But, uh, we will not be tackling that area just yet. There's a tab. 
So two of them had tabs, the uh, prehistory and 600 AD. going into the northern ruins here just has normal enemies in it. Or it has no one. Not a missing. Uh, yeah, can't run away. That's not gonna work out for me here. Yeah, you're clearly not supposed to be in this area right now. I think it's pretty obvious. No, no, no! That's... no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get that chest? Yes, I can. Hyper ether. Not worth it. What? Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I thought I was just going to get out of here. Thank Christ that kills those guys. Also, 3,000 damage. Damn, dude. That could have turned bad because I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> See what the Dark Ages have to offer. I don't think there's anything new in the prehistoric phase or era either. In the DS version, there's a post-game thing in the DS in the uh, prehistoric age, but not so much here. Yeah, the only thing here, actually, I, I don't think I've gone to the. Oh no, I have because I took the dactyls here earlier. I already got the tab that was in this one. I was like, wait, can you fly in prehistory? And it's like, yeah, you can. It's kind of funny how you could fly in the oldest era of the game. I believe at this point, too, now, if you go to the destroyed uh, ruins, you can rename your characters. Yep, it's new here, we'll do, the, do that. Who disturbs my slumber? New. Just trying to get some shut-eye. I'll change Luca's name, so let me get some rest, new. So yeah, you can come here to change uh, any of the characters' names if you want. I forget, no need for the stone, so I give to you. Got one silver rock out. Actually, that was pretty useful, it's a good thing I came back here. Sleep well.
So yeah, you could talk to him to change uh, your character's names, just like you could talk to the computer in the future to rename the Epoch. So, I got what I get here, the Silver Rock, which invokes the Triple Tech Spin Strike, which can be used by Robo, Frog, and Ayla, and the Black Rock is Marl, Luca, and Magus. So essentially what the rocks do is, as long as one of the three characters has it equipped, uh, you can initiate the triple tech as long as all three of those characters are in your party. The interesting thing with the rocks is that none of them involve Chrono. All of the rocks are for three party members that are not Chrono, essentially. Which is interesting because up to this point, the only person who would be involved in triple techs is Chrono because he's forced in your party. But now that he's an optional party member, uh there's potential to do triple techs without him. And they interestingly lock all of them behind those rocks. Actually, that reminds me, uh, I can get, maybe I can get the one for Frog now as well. them. I don't know if I need the Masamune powered up or not. I, I might need it powered up, I'm not sure. See, one of the neat things about Magus is that because he has all of the elemental types, it opens your party up to, like, you know, not having to force yourself to balance. Let's see. Let's see if I grab it. Nope, I didn't. Alright, so that's later. But I believe it's a, uh, it's the blue, the blue rock. You got the fuck out of there before you can do anything.
The great adventurer Tomo Levine lived rest of uh, We've already done this. So he poured the soda on his grave, which... It's totally soda, guys. Totally not alcohol. Frog, long time no see. I've located the rainbow shell. To the northwest of this cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. You could find the shell there. So, he's showing it to us in 600 AD. Because that's where the island is, I guess. But beware, there are many beasts about. Time to shove off. You guys are a riot a minute. See ya. So we actually saw that island before when I was flying around, but the cave on it's just not open. You actually need to wait. Dude, you need to talk to him here to have that happen. Because the island just doesn't exist now. It's like killing my motivation to continue, and honestly, it makes me just want to stop now, which I'm tempted to do, but also this next part doesn't take too long, and I, I keep hitting the wrong buttons here. I'm getting really disoriented. There we go. I figured it out eventually. the renowned Tent of Horrors. Spend your 50 silver points here. Parental discretion advised. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine-tingling show is about to start. So, you want a chrono clone? Normally I'd never do this, but today I'll make an exception. Challenge me and I'll give you a clone. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Take the challenge. It's not my lucky day. Let's take the challenge, baby. Mimic what you see. L left arm. R right arm. Y laugh. A surprise. Uh-oh. I better look at my controller because I need to make sure I'm hitting the right button. So L, R, and then X and B. Okay. Laugh, surprise. Laugh, surprise. Start when you hear the signal. And action! That laugh, yeah, it's the Kefka laugh, but sped up or up pitched a bit. Oh fuck, that was the wrong. I already have fucked it up. I'll take three thirty thousand G. The clone will be at Kronos' house. Oh, all right. Well, he just bought it. Whatever. Where's the rest of your body? How many silver points would you like to pay? 10, 40, 80. Do I even have 80? You don't have enough points. This is where you get the cat food. I don't know how that works though. Maybe I'll do that in, on the stream. Whatever, I am fucking loaded on money. I could spare 30,000 G. Chrono okay? Uh, uh, I... He be in fine health. I hope he's behaving. Tell him to be good, alright? Madame. Yes, dear? By thy leave, may we... Mayhap we take this doll? 
Go right ahead, dear. Got the clone. The clone. Stay out of trouble now. And somehow she teleports past you. Clone. Baby daughter clone. Or in this case, uh, son... Teena teenager son clone. Spoilers, Chrono's mom is actually Shala. We know this already. So I could tell you something interesting that I've picked up through my, uh, through my readings of this game. Did you know that the story of Chrono Trigger involving Chrono was going to be completely different in how they handle this, uh, like his, his death and rebirth scenario? It was actually supposed to be, uh, something along the lines of you recruit Chrono from 1000 AD. He does not say, you know, he, he's, he's not a talkative person. He doesn't say anything the entire game. Everything plays up normally up until Chrono gets disintegrated. Then, instead of going on this long quest to revive him, you instead go five years before 1000 AD. So you go to 995 AD and re recruit Chrono when he's, like, a young kid. Well, I would say, like, yeah. He's about, like, 16 or 17. So he would be about, like, 11 or 12. And then that's the Chrono that's just with you for the rest of the game. Include up to the end. And at the end of the game, he goes back to his time, aware that in five years, he'll be going on the adventure that he was just on and dying to Lavos. It's really fucked up when, when you think about it. Like, that would imply that the entire game, Chrono was aware that he was going to die. Or at the very least, no one told him, and some iteration of him did know that, that he would die. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say how that exactly would go, but the implication was very much that Chrono would just not live past the end of the game. And it's pretty depressing. I kind of would have liked to see something like that, like, in a game now. Where, like, a character is well aware of their fate in the actual game, but you don't find it out until the very end. Because I think it's a neat twist. On Death Peak, we will find the power to restore life. But to activate the... Yeah, no, we know this. We have the clone already. Enough. The time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It's only... It's the only chance you have of reviving your friend. The last program I've implanted in this creature's memory banks will help you up the mountain. Stand back. Also, sorry, I'm trying to get... There's like a piece of, like, loose plastic on my pop filter. And I'm trying to, uh... Get it off. Executing program. Executing program. Executing program. The three entities you saw will help you climb Death Peak. This ends my message. Now I must ask you for a favor. 
This creature has executed its program. Please let him sleep. The switch is on his stomach. Switch the creature off. Oh, this is sad. Yeah. This creature sleeps beyond the flow of time. His job is done. Thank you, New. For everything. So the time has come for us to scale Death Peak. Or rather, I would say the time has come, but it is 9.52 and I would have to stop in less than 10 minutes. So, why don't we just save the dungeon for next week? Um, also, my sh I'm starting to drop some frames, so it's probably better late than or better to stop while I'm ahead because, man, this stream has been a mess between the slowdowns and the and the dropped frames and everything, and the fact that it's shorter. I, I yeah, I'm sorry about these last two streams being shorter too. Uh, I forgot that Wednesday and Thursday are tight now on time for a while. So, what I might do is I might try to make sure I do one stream on Monday and two or Tuesday, and then have the other stream be Wednesday or Thursday. I'm probably going to be leaning towards Tuesday, because I have a feeling that very soon Mondays will not be a good day to stream. So, we'll probably do, like, Monday full stream, and then Wednesday or Thursday will be a partial stream. Or as close to a full stream as I could get. If I could start at 7, it'll be a full stream. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to have to stop here for today. Uh, is there anyone I want to host before I go? The answer's probably gonna be no, but... Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Alright then. I will see you guys next week. You have a great evening, and thank you for coming. Just do that quick save real quick. Alright, good night.